on this situation I want to address the issue that uh, the JTB has been advertised and has sold a lot of units that uh, that the uh, run your 50 amp RV in a 30 amp part and that's exactly what the air what the JTB was designed to do and allow you to run both air conditioners but uh, it, at this situation if, even if you're at a 50 amp park and you have a JTB, uh, we think you're going to want to go on ahead and, and plug in the JTB uh, also to the, to the 20 amp and run that second air with the JTB and then relieve your 50 amp of, of that 20 amps and that will reduce the heat within your main panel and uh, allow your second air conditioner or your bedroom air to be powered with the 20 amp GFCI at the pole. Now if you want to go one step further uh, then you, when you go to a 30 amp park you uh, use your 30 by 50 adapter and plug that uh, uh, into the 30 and that will run your main air conditioner at the 30 amp park and then you plug the JTB into the 20 amp GFCI and that allows you to run both air conditioners. So that that's the situation that I've heard most about how the JTB or what the JTB can do. The JTB will allow a 50 amp coach to run both air conditioners in a 30 amp park and that's exactly uh, what it'll do. But also, if you've got a 50 amp uh, trailer and you're going to a park with the 50 amp and you've got a JTB, our recommendation is plug in the JTB, plug in your 50 amp, and relieve your main panel of that 20 amps and not run your second air through the main panel. And that'll give your main panel some longevity, uh, more service, and make it more efficient, and it'll take some heat, or take lots of heat out of that, out of your electrical grid. And the JTB will handle then the the uh, bedroom air. But if you want to go one step further and make your trailer even more efficient than that, then install the second JTB. If you'll go on Facebook, you'll see where we've got, I think we've got two trailers out here that's got two JTBs in them. And I'll, I'll tell you a story later on of how the JTB saved a park in, in another segment. But uh, Anyway, if you've got two JTBs, then what we recommend you to, to target both air conditioners and get the two main airs, the main air and the bedroom air, off on the JTBs. And then when you go into a 50 amp park, and if the parks are wired to electrical code like they're supposed to be, and, and there's more of them getting in that position every day, is uh, you plug in your 50, your main panel, and then uh, you plug in your... Uh, uh, one JTB into the 30 and your other JTB into the 20 and that will run your two air conditioners and then if you've got a washer and dryer your wife can go on ahead and wash and dry clothes all day run your air conditioners all day and chances are she can blow dry her hair so it's more like a what we call an at home situation uh, with, with that uh, particular uh, filth wheel or travel trailer or it can even be in your motor home if that's your situation but uh, again that's a way that you can turn a 50 amp trailer into uh, a 50 plus two more uh, 20 amp uh, circuit expansions by using the JTB by using two JTBs to do that but then you've got you got again you're just like that motor coach we talked about a while ago you got several options when you go to a park. You you can you can plug them up or you can not plug them up. You can plug both of them up or you can plug one of them up. It's your your pickings and your choice of what you want to do. Again, if you don't plug up the JTBs, everything goes back automatically to the original factory configuration. That is a feature that JTB has that uh, it's a big feature because 
uh, you the operator you don't have to switch any switches you don't have to monitor any meters all you got to do is if you don't want to use the JTB you don't plug it up and the, the, the cords that are that are attached to the JTBs are in your uh, uh, box there and, and there's there's no power on those cards whatsoever it's everything's disconnected everything is dead no power no hazard no anything but if you will use the JTBs, even with that 50 amp, if you will use them, it will make your uh, the longevity of your electrical system of your travel trailer. It will make it last longer uh, by quite a by, by by quite a bit more service because you're reducing heat within your electrical system. If anybody has any questions that you want to ask, all you got to do is either give me a call or email me. I'll be more than glad to spend whatever time I need to spend to help you work through your problems and answer your questions. Thank you.